Wow. All right. Let's play the ninja game. One of my favorite games ever. I loved this game on the Super Nintendo. And I've played it several times uh, since they've remade it. And I cannot believe it took me this long to get it on Steam. So let's fucking go. I say that because I got it on Switch and I don't really play my Switch anymore. So it's high time I got it on here and played it on stream. But yeah, this one of my favorite, I guess, series, not really a series. This is like a spinoff, but I love the Ninja Warriors. Um, I hate that they had to change the name uh, to Ninja Saviors for this release for some stupid reason in the West. Um, I, I know it's because of probably American Ninja Warrior or something stupid like that. But, uh, yeah. That's why I, I put the actual name of the game in the title. Because that's what it's actually called. The Ninja Warriors once again. With a very kick-ass intro. This the, the the remade music is great. Amazing. I love it. I cannot believe this game came out in this uh, remake came out in 2019. I played it so fucking much. I'm going to do I'm going to do a disservice to the game this run. I imagine I, I was getting so good at normal mode that I was able to beat it without dying. And um, I don't think I'll be able to pull that off this time, but we'll we'll see. They also made it, uh, they also actually made this version co-op, and that was really cool because this game needed that when it came out on the SNES. I guess it was just hard for them to do back then. I don't know if this game was, like, on a tight schedule or something, but... I'm trying to remember how to do all the moves. I've been wanting to play this on stream for a while, so I thought I would test out. Actually, I was going to try and record this as well, but it looks like I might not need to because this is the first time I'm trying 1080p. Um, I wanted to see how it went on a game that wasn't so, you know, um, kind of do baby steps. This isn't uh, isn't a super intensive game so I thought maybe I would try it out in ADP see how it goes but I might not even need to do a recording to like save shit because I think I think it'll be fine Why she gotta do that? I didn't do that. Ugh, asshole. I always manage to do that. Oh, 
Oh. Forgot about him. No frames, no frames dropped, so, so far so good. Not going well. Woo. I'm I'm getting I'm I'm very nervous. Please stop. Please stop. Ugh. That was way too close for comfort. Pathetic. I never do that bad on the fucking first boss. This isn't even hard mode. Which I will be trying a little bit tonight, but I don't know if I'm actually going to try and beat hard mode, because it is quite hard, as you can imagine. Hmm. I know I need to get back to Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 1, also. Um, and also maybe more Pal World. Can't stop thinking about that stupid ass game. Why are the mechanics so good? I hate you. From ass grenade throwers. Whenever you get good at like moving around in this game, like the clunky mechanics, it just it makes you feel like a fucking badass. The bosses are a little, you know, harder to deal with, but the enemies themselves is like, man, nobody feels like a threat and it's great. I keep thinking I'm already like grabbing somebody and then I press up and throw and it or up and attack and I just keep throwing shurikens.
I hate those little guys. I will tank a couple of hits just to deal with those fuckers. I love the idea of just dudes just being like, yeah, I can't I can't beat this stupid ass android, so I'm just gonna fucking run into this fan instead. <laughs> it's just like what I could clear it. Come here. Come on. I love the intro. This boss intro is great. It's so fucking amazing. This game is like a fucking 80s action movie, it's awesome. Even back then, it, it still looked great. But they did a great job with this remaster, they really did. Not a lot of games get this treatment. boss that I'm really worried about is that uh, the the double boss that you fight it's literally two of the first boss and he's just way too tanky okay, okay. alright Trying to like turn around. Oh my god. There we go. They also added two characters to this game that you unlock after you beat the main story. And they're both really fun for different reasons. And I'll definitely be playing with at least one of them for a little bit. But uh, you can't really beat uh, Kunoichi. I mean, she's just like literally the... She's the best. She's the best one. It's 
always nice to have variety, though. Especially since the first game literally had one character, so... The OG. Which, I... I don't know if the OG is on Steam yet. But I'd be down to play that one, too. It's... Also got a banger soundtrack, and... Also can make you feel like a badass when you get really good at it. But it's way more unfair in certain parts than this game is. This game feels less like a uh, arcade game and more like a more like there's there's way more skill involved, you know. Not saying that there isn't skill involved in the arcade game from the 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 Jeez, when did it come out? Late 80s, early 90s. But it's uh there's just some areas in that in that game where it's just like, man. Especially you have to fight like tanks every once in a while. And that shit is just not fucking fair. Do it. I forgot about these guys. Ugh. The pinky. Speaking of tanky, good lord. Come on. Damn, damn. Oh. Sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Ugh. All the bosses in this game are pretty great. I do wish for like the double boss towards the end of the game that they had um, just come up with another original boss though, because the, the original bosses in this game are all fucking sick. This has got to be my favorite Super Nintendo game. What's What's really funny is I didn't even play it until I was like... Hmm. in like middle school or something because by that point I was already playing like GameCube and shit but <clears throat> the my cousin had like emulators and stuff and introduced me to where I could download you know ROMs and things and I was like, oh, Ninja Warriors, that sounds cool. And I was like, oh my god, this is the best game I've ever played. And I was sold from that moment on. 
And I always wanted a copy of the original on the, well, the, the original SNES version of this game, but it's so fucking expensive. It's just unreasonably so. And even the Japanese version is, is expensive. So, I mean, I was really glad to see them release a physical version for the Switch and uh, other consoles just because it's like, oh man, I can actually, I can actually own the Ninja Warriors on fucking console. Wow. After all these years. It's like, yeah, I'm going to go donate plasma real quick to um, go buy this really expensive fucking Super Nintendo game. No, I'm not going to do that. It's dumb. I still buy games that are kind of pricey sometimes, but man, it's it's just not worth it anymore. More and more games are getting like, you know, ported to ported or remastered or whatever to some sort of way to play it, whether it's through some stupid Nintendo online service or um which barely gets updated, or they just, you know, make a collection, which it happens. And then there's remakes like this every once in a while, which we're super lucky to have. But I just fucking emulate, you know? And buy the, buy a dead game that the developers and publishers don't care about anymore. For a console that, you know, you have and it's slowly also dying for whether it's the laser going out or just the hardware failing for one reason or another. It's fucking depressing. I'll do like a flippy thing and without using my sword and I'm like, I forget how to do that. There's so many little uh, interesting button commands you can do. There's only one attack button, but you can utilize um, different like inputs on the uh, on the control pad with the attack button and with the jump button and it uh, does different things. It's really, really neat. Also, can you stop? Holy shit. I'm like, fa I'm like fading in and out whenever that thing goes by. I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go. And then I keep timing shit wrong.
Oh, this fucker. I want to know who this guy is. Like, he's just some guy <laughs> fighting a fucking android. It's like, like what, what is that stick? Who is this man? I want to know the lore. <laughs> it's just so funny to me. That's how, that's how I fight androids too. I use a fucking cane. Good idea, jump down right in front of me. Nope! I don't know how bad that's gonna hurt, so let's avoid it. There we go. Alright, here's my favorite level. The fucking- oh my god, the fucking boss music here! Holy shit, this stage is so fucking badass. This is like the whole reason I wanted to play this game. I was thinking about the stage and the, like, the boss fight and shit. I was like, oh man. I just want to play it right now. <laughs> And I was like, fuck it, I'll stream it. <laughs> oh, you cocksucker. I will always forget about that jump kick that they can do. I will always forget. Ugh. Man, I'm... How about that? No, that's not what I wanted to do! Perfect. Oh, God. Let's get a charge, shall we? Oh. No, God damn it. Oh, uh, what a sloppy run. <sighs> it's okay, at least this is the best stage that I died on. It's alright. It's like... I know I haven't played in a while, and I shouldn't be upset, but like... I know I'm good at this game, and it makes me mad, because it's like... God, the, the last time I fucking played this... I just like, fucking flew through it... Didn't get touched that much... And I was like, man, fuck yeah... And then, now it's like, oh, It's just been a while. Oh, hey, okay. Come on. 
Oh, you little fucker! Ah. Man. Dude, oh. Man, oh. I hate this guy. This fucking asshole. They put him in too many fucking times. Ugh. Oh. That, that one, that first boss, he just, when he comes back, every time I see him, I just... He throws me off every time. It's it 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 gets in my head, and I'm like, oh god, I, I'm gonna freeze up. I'm, I can't do it. And then he kills me. He's just a hard guy to like. I forget how to flawlessly fight him, and I always forget, and I have to like remember. But the way I was doing it between his legs, that's definitely a tactic. It's just, you have to like really, you have to like really be in the middle so he doesn't fucking hit you. Or like towards the back, I think. But yeah, it's, it's just a mess. That one fucking dude. It doesn't help that the fucking suit gooners are also helping him out. Ugh, wow. What a... No, okay. Well... Once I get past this fucking door... Now that you have ads, I guess I'll just never watch again, SMH. Sorry, Shepherd's Cat. I didn't put him there, to be fair. I, I did sign up for the affiliate, though, so I guess it kind of is my fault. Nope, cocksucker! No! Fuck you! Okay, I got him. Oh! Ugh, water. Because they give you health right here too. It's like, it's like they know. You know you're gonna need it after you fight that fucking asshole. And what's even worse is it's not even a full health. It's a half health. Checkpoint, thank God. I think this is the only, like, two-phase stage. Where it feels like you went into another stage, but it's still just, it's just a continuation. I brought that upon myself.
keep thinking, whenever I accidentally do that, I keep thinking I have already grabbed them. There's a four health. Oh! Fucking Christ. Man, this is not my fucking run. Stream brain, maybe? What could it be? Just being greedy, god damn it. Just just give it to me. Fucking assholes. I'm not even getting timed anymore because I had to use continues. Because I'm a fucking loser. Bear, I will do just that. Let me kill these dumb ninjas, and then I will drink water right now. Mm. Thank you. Oh, I'm going in with half health. Okay, here we go. Best fucking fight. It's not going to happen. Ugh. Why are you just deleting these? Because it's my, it's my, it's my go-to, it's my tactic, it's a good combo. I shouldn't use that full health when I did, that was a really bad move. Oh wait, it put me right here, okay, thank god. He does have like a super that he does. Yeah. Shit, I keep 
getting hit by that damn chop. neck and neck for a little while there that was crazy but yeah now the game just kind of go down goes downhill from there not really it's, it's still good it's still good i just don't like some of the choices this is a really good stage though The boss battle I don't like. Man, I swear, sometimes I'm pressing one way and it's not going. I think I just need to use the D-pad is what I need to do. It's so easy to accidentally go back to joystick though. Whenever your controller's already got one. Damn character can live. Yeah, she's an android. She's freaking epic. Oh, I see. That makes sense. There he is, the bad guy. Fuck you, game. Your lazy fucking boss. Was that Donald Trump? Yeah, basic basically, yeah, sure. Hey, k fuck you game. I I hate this. This boss sucks. It sucks so bad. Why did they do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Please put me back there. No, the the need to leader does not work against Rob and Bob. They uh they are assholes and lazy uh first bosses again. It's literally the first boss again, but two of him. Makes me so mad. This game is literally perfect, except for this. God, it does so much damage. See, it's like, I always look forward to playing stage five because that stage is awesome. The music is great. The boss is fucking awesome. Everything's great. And then as soon as you're done with that, you're like, oh yeah, this shit. Oh, the, the, oh God, it just, Yeah. 
Oh, thank you. Let me out of here. Zachary, is that your way of like guessing my name <laughs> or something? <laughs> Bob and Rob party over. Amen. Guessing? <laughs> Oh my god! Zachary, you're on a roll, dude. Thank you so much for the sub. As always. <laughs> Bro, if someone lifts a road barrier and throws it at me, I'm not getting back up. I know. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. Some of them don't. Yeah, the smart ones, yeah, play dead. Nuts throwing everybody at me. I did not want to open those yet. No, that's all right. Come on. Oh my god. Let me delete your knees. There I go, picking it up. It's okay. Got to keep all my health. I forgot about these dudes. Oh! Grabbed me first. Please no. This is, this is not a good position to be in. This is not a good position to be in. Oh. There we go. The power walk. 
I love the, uh, the just, the just, yeah, the power walk. It's, it's a little more like <clears throat> cool in the original, uh, like the, the OG arcade game that was made. Um, it, it, you, you just like slow walk the whole way through the game, just badassly killing everything in your path because nothing's supposed to be able to stop you. And, uh, in this, it just kind of looks goofy. She's just, like, literally power walking. She looks like a mall walker. But I, I still kind of love it. It's like that RoboCop thing, you know? Not the, not the palm. Damn it. These dudes do so much fucking damage. <laughs> Stay down. Into the hack, another one by accident. I always do that. What are they? Aliens? I don't know. They bleed real blood, though, so I don't know what that's about. Could be like cyborgs or something. Oh. Here, how about that? Nope. Got behind me, god damn it. This guy. Oh. I the boss music in this game is so fucking good. Not the fucking long arm grab. That was fucking crazy. The these fights to me, I don't know what it is, but they feel like fucking anime battles. Like it's so fucking cool. Hmm. I actually don't know which way's easier. I always just kind of randomly pick one and then deal with the consequences later. I've never like looked it up. 
or have remembered what's on either side. Come on, hit me now. Yeah. Wow. I've said this a thousand times, but damn, I'm like remembering the music as it's happening. I'm just like, fuck. What? Amazing. Oh, you were dead. Ooh. Oh, nice. very satisfying. God damn it. Just come on. Thank you. What health? I don't need health. I don't need health. Thank you. <laughs> I always hate it when they throw you. It's like, it, it, it's just like a, it's offensive. It's like, you're not supposed to be able to throw me, you fucker. I'm a goddamn android. I'm probably heavy as shit. I always, when I fuck that up, uh, Stupid jump. It's nice when I'm trying to do that. But not when you attack like mid-air like that, like all the way up. It's like setting yourself up for failure. Nope, give me that. Let me have that. Thank you.
Unless it's these guys, and they they die in one easy hit. Nope, no. Fucking jumped over that, how? Out of my way, losers. Need this. God, I love that. No, not you again! Fucking asshole. <laughs> I fucking hate him. He's the worst thing in this game. He needs to be at the beginning, and that's fucking it. He's the skill check at the beginning of the game. That should be it. The, the motherfucker, every time he shows up, he's got the whole goddamn health bar. Like, it, it's, it's insane. Now I'm dealing with fucking alien ninjas. While I'm fighting him? Like, come on. Just it it just makes me want to scream. Thank you. Oh, I was getting kind of nervous. Thought I was gonna die again. snake well hope I get to start in this room shit oh man that's a lot of game overs it's a lot of game overs okay good this is fine, this is fine. can jump on me. Okay, here we go. We did it. We fucking made it.
god, the fucking baseline! Fuck off! This game is too good! You bitch. She locked me in there. Then I jumped into it. Again! Oh my god. Actually, that helped me. Thank you. One. Oh. What a satisfying final boss fight. That was great. See, the way this one ends is a little different. In the first one, you just walk up to the guy once you make it to him and you just fucking kill him. There, he doesn't even fight back. You literally just walk up to him and fucking stab him to death. And then the ending is like, a narrator comes on and he's like, yeah, you fucking killed him and now you're going to kill everybody else. You're evil. It's, it's great. It's great. I guess the, the whole point is like they're murderous androids and they don't have any sentient thoughts so people are just going to keep using them to like fight their wars and shit. Yeah, fucked up. I love it. Okay, more water. Hmm. I don't, I don't really even want to skip the credits because I like this song too fucking much. I have to know my upload speed is good enough for 1080p streams now. That makes me happy. I, I know it's like only an hour in, but... I remember whenever I was having trouble with 720p streams. I've, I've definitely switched internet since those days, but...
All right. There's fucking hard mode. Wait, do I have to unlock the other character? In fucking hard mode? I thought... Um... Well, let's see. I thought I got both of them. Crayon time? Wow, no, you really do have to... Well, Yaksha is super... fucking... fun... to play as. But, she's kind of weird, so... But that shit, oh my god, dude. Like, what the fuck? It's so cool. But in some scenarios, I just feel like it's, it's just so hard to use her. I love that, though. Female Michelin man. Yeah. <laughs> Marshmallow boinky doinkies. Yeah. They do be bouncy. Trying to figure out, like, oh, yeah, and you can do that. Yeah, it's just she's so clunky. I mean, I, I they're all clunky, but something about like trying to use her abilities practically is just. I just don't see how I could be um, as epic with her, I guess. Like it's hard to get multi-hits in the air. for special is yeah it's just the same yeah using her uh, her long arms is uh, very fun there's a great addition and the other uh, character is like a giant fucking tanky guy and Talk about clunky. That dude is like... You ain't doing a no-hit run with that guy. But, um... He's also insanely fun to play as. I, I just... All the characters in this game are great. But I, I'm definitely uh, biased. I, I think... I love, uh... I just love Koinoichi. She has very good, uh... Um... Uh, All-rounder skills, you know? Alright, this fucking asshole again. Here we go, hard mode. Well, should have known that was gonna happen. What? Excuse me? What just hit me there? I hate that they already brought out the fucking drone things, too. Or not until later stages in normal mode. Yeah, 
god, this, this is this is a fucking mess. Still didn't hit him. Nope. Just, just poke. Just poke once. Just one poke. Ugh. Well, hey. First stage, hard mode. Not bad. Almost dead. Having the hardest- having to fight for my life to get the controls right with her. And I still managed to make it through. There's a good way to get a multi-hit in, but I don't always have a charge. Oh, that's probably... You literally just hold forward or backward while you're blocking, and then jump. That's what I was not doing. God, oh, That would have been so useful in so many circumstances last run. And I just kept forgetting how to do it. Or I'd forgotten how to do it. Now it's all I want to do. Look how freaking awesome that makes you feel. Look at that. It's so cool. Let's fucking jump behind him and shit. Can't fucking touch me, guys. Too bad you can't do a, a move to like cancel out of it. Midair or something. I know this isn't like a fighting game, but it'd still be cool. Oh. Oh, that's good. Is it just because they add more enemies? Is it just because they add the drones? Like what? I'm trying to figure out why it's hard mode. Oh, that, I love that. You fucking grab them right out of the sky. But it's hard to tell. Oops. Hang on. Wish you could walk when you have those in your hands. Wow. 
How about that? Can I clip through? Oh, maybe. Let's find out. Oh, okay. Nope, can't. At least you're maintaining a block when that's happening. You... You funny guy. Imagine building an army of those, like, robots that they have, and not putting backs on them. They're just like, oh man, these things would be indestructible if we just had the time to put backs on all of them. Can I grab him? Let's find out. <gasps> yes! Block. Tried to block that. Oops. Uh, yeah, I miss, uh... I miss Kunoichi's fucking... grab... forward grab throw that she has. Because you rush him with it. But Yaksha just throws him to the ground. It's like I can't really get a whole lot of distance on the enemy. Unless I do my little... That's a good way to... Damn, you know, I'm kinda, kinda digging this hard mode right now, it's, it's nice. I know I'm gonna regret that on stage 5, but it's fine. Depending on how badly I get my ass kicked, I might stop there, but we'll see. I kind of want to unlock the other dude. I thought I got them both at the same time, but oh well. I'm sure there are achievements for beating the game with all the characters anyway. Oh. God damn it. I hate that they just level with my head when I die. Those stupid kunais.
That might make for a good combo. I should try that. Well, what? The uh, I didn't even hit him. I guess that's good if there are people underneath. But I like that too. Hey! so nice you retain the block in that stance. It's almost like I should have been using that all last game. But sometimes it's been a while and I forget how mechanics work. There are a lot of them even though this game has like two buttons. It's kind of crazy that they were able to do that. Like, it really does keep you engaged, though, in this beat-em-up. Because, like, there are a lot of beat-em-ups that you get very tired of the, doing the same thing over and over again. But there are just so many different things, like, so many different... Like, you're constantly moving your fingers around the whole freaking controller, like, trying to get yourself to, like, do different moves and shit. And I feel like it keeps your brain engaged with the game. And then there are games like... I feel like, you know, Str Streets of Rage, you know, whatever, it's, it's a good game, but... It's hard for me to like pick it up and like play it all the way through. But, like I, I can't stop playing this game right now. Like you don't understand. I literally, I, I, the only thing that's gonna make me get up from this game at the moment is if I die for some stupid reason and I don't feel like continuing because it's too difficult, or if I gotta pee. And if I gotta pee, then I'm probably gonna end the stream because I don't feel I, I don't have anything else I want to stream and taking a break is gonna be kind of silly. So, but uh, yeah, I like this is fucking great. Like I fucking this game is awesome. Where is the love for this game? Like, seriously. I mean, obviously there was enough love in... Uh, maybe all of Asia, I'm not sure. Because when this game first got announced... Um, when this remake first got announced, it was, uh, the only physical copy you could find was in, um, I forget what portion of Asia, but it was an Asian release that I bought because they didn't announce even a physical version for Japan at the time. I figured it would eventually come, uh, but it was just kind of wild. I was like, oh, wow, that's like the only way to get a physical release right now. So that's what I did. Um... And then eventually it came to the West in physical form, which was even wilder to me. Um, but yeah, I mean, this game obviously has a fan base, and I'm really glad that it's garnered such a, a good cult following to warrant a remake of this quality. I could just say this game is good all day. Like, I really could. It's just fucking awesome. God. Like, they didn't have to add two new characters, but they fucking did. I love Booby Ninja and Tank Ninja. Like, I love them. They're great. If I don't get Tank Ninja, maybe I'll have him. And I can show him off one day. I feel like playing this on stream again. I haven't like replayed a game before on stream, but I would, I would, uh, ooh, 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 you did that to me last time too. I, I would do it for this game. I'd do it. Yeah. 
<laughs> Yo, what's up, Darth Raven? I promise I'll get back to Dark Souls, I promise, I promise. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Not tonight, but it's gonna happen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm late. I wanted to. I was wanting to end my existence because of Elden Ring. What? What do you mean? What do you mean? Are you having fun or not? <laughs> What's that mean? The answer is yes. Okay. But uh oh, here's the but. You love it, but. This could go a few different directions. I have my own opinions about Elden Ring as well. I do love the game, but I have some complaints. Too indecisive and can't pick a build and have no idea where I'm supposed to be and just go until I get my teeth kicked in too many times and then leave and repeat the cycle and still feel lost. Yeah, I get that. I get that. I I don't know why, but when I played it for the first time, I didn't really mind getting my teeth. My oh wow, Oof. my teeth kicked in. Um, when I went to some place I felt like I was too under-leveled under for, I, you know, I just, I just ca kind of got used to it, I guess, and then I went somewhere else and, um, maybe got lucky, maybe summoned somebody, you know, um, but, yeah, the world's very big, and it is very easy to feel like you're not really doing anything or not accomplishing anything for a while, but it is... I do like the amount of, um, you know, items that are within the world that are all so different everywhere you go. Also, I can't for the life of me remember half the characters' names for their quest lines. Yeah, that was a huge problem I had. Um, what I ended up doing for that is, well, just looking it up. I know that's the easy way out, but for some of the characters, I was just like, you know what, I need to look up NPCs that have quest lines, and then I was like, oh yeah, I remember starting that quest, you know, and thankfully not fucking it up or whatever, but I, I like, I would get like so far into the game, and then I would like look up, oh, what do I need to do for this person, or, you know, whatever, or I, I, there were like literally, there were a few times where I straight up had to look up an NPC list, like with not just names, but I had to see faces, too, because I could not fucking remember whose name was for who. So people were talking about people and saying, oh, yeah, I know so-and-so. And I'm like, I don't know who the fuck you're talking about, dude. But, you know, it. how do you think I beat Godric? I summoned an NPC to help because I got my shit kicked in. Yeah, I mean, the same. I did that for, for a lot of things. I, I feel like, I feel like that's not... A bad thing to do. I think the whole thing, you know, with 
the shitty half of the Souls community, which is like, get good, right? It's like, yeah, well, you're not going to get good overnight, so you got to practice, and having an NPC there to be cannon fodder while you're trying to, while you get to observe the boss's moveset, like, I think that's fine. I think that's fine. I think having an NPC or a real player or whoever help you in those scenarios, I think is fine. And you, you gotta do it sometimes, because otherwise you're just gonna get so frustrated you're not gonna want to do it anymore. And um, I don't ever want to be, I don't ever want to feel that way in, in a Souls game. Um, in a real Souls game made by FromSoft, right? I mean, that's... I have other frustrations with it, I, I don't need that one. How do you cast faith-based spells? There are, um, um, talismans. There are talismans that you can equip as weapons. Um, there aren't, like, a whole shit ton. Um, but I'm sure there's someone... I'm trying to remember if you can, like, buy one from someone early on. Honestly, I hate to say it, but... It's, it's, if you want to go, if you like have a specific build in mind that you like normally play in a Souls game or whatever, I would just fucking look it up. I would just, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even bat an eye. Like just, just fucking look it up and don't feel bad about it because at the end of the day, you're not going to know, the game is not going to tell you where to get certain weapons or certain spells, right? You're, you're just gonna have to look it up because it's... There, there are so many areas to go in that game, and you could be playing the game for 20 hours and still not get anything for a build that you would want. Tal I thought talismans were for boosting things. Hang on. I'm getting my terminology wrong. Me. Um, yeah, so they're called, sorry, they're called Sacred Seals. Sacred Seals, and there's really not a lot of them. When you compare them to the rest of the weapons in the game, um, they're like towards the bottom of the weapon list. But yeah, there's literally... One, two, three, four. There's only nine. There's only nine in the entire game. You're doing a dex bleed ish build, but again, in, so indecisive. Yeah, um, there's a really good uh, katana that you can get that's uh, pretty broken. I, it's it's in one of those like cave systems, um, and then the boss I think gives it to you in one of those, but, um, and it's in Kalid I believe, but, um. I think they may have nerfed it, but it's still good. It's still good. It's not like they completely destroyed it. It's just they nerfed it for, for more online play type stuff. The katanas are great. The katanas play great in that game. God damn it. Can I maybe I can block that? I didn't even try. I'm using some dude's sword from this half wolf guy quest line. Big curve sword. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Really useful weapon art. I forget what uh, the sword's called, but yes, I also used that sword for quite a while. It's very good. Most of my playthrough, I mean, it's like Blood Thing or some shit. Yeah, I don't remember, but 
the there I'm not I'm never gonna remember like most of the weapon names except for great sword because it's the best sword I just I just like cosplaying as guts not really I, I'm my, my own character usually but I like guts the guts weapon and this clown again she's so slow Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about that. Man, I'm, I need to do the fucking... There we go. You can, uh, respec, uh, that was itch, um, you can respec, but you have to beat the quote-unquote second, um, big, big boss, um, and I say second in, in hard quotes because it may not be your second big, big boss because they're, it's just like the second recommended Because technically she's the closest to, um, I think, the first guy, Godric or whatever. And I am having a time with this one. Oh god, that's not what I meant to do. <gasps> Whoop! You don't care about spoilers? I mean, it's literally, it's literally the second boss. Like, you, you beat her, and then, big, big boss. You beat her, and then she, uh, does that for you. And you have to have a certain item to respec, and hopefully by the time you get there, you have that item. But I forget what that's called as well. I always forget the names of all these things. Who is it though? I I I think her name's like Renala or something. That was death. And what a what a clusterfuck this this boss fight is. I, I, if you ask me lore questions, if that's what you're wondering, if you're wondering if I know like the, the lore related stuff about who she is, I don't know. I have my own headcanon and that's all I care about. I don't really care about the souls lore stuff. It, it's, um, you discovered like most of the map. It's like, uh, in the left area of the map, like the west side of the map, there's like a, a big lake that you can like walk through. It's like a shallow lake. And there's like a big school there, uh, a big academy or whatever. And that's where the second boss is. <laughs> and in order to get into the academy, Uh, you have to do something stupid, too. Uh, the glint Oh, you know what? The Glintstone Key is, uh, it's in the lake. But it's like... It's on the left side of the academy, the west side of the academy. And... Um, there's like a dragon... That you can fight. It's like a boss in the overworld. And, uh... You can pick up this item, the glintstone key, you can pick it up behind the dragon and just not fight the dragon. Like, you can, you can just, like, you know, aggro him, get the thing behind him, and then run. Um, 
So if you just look on that like left side of the academy, like walk through the lake, you should run into that dragon. Uh, he's like sleeping. Uh, and I think that's where the glenstone key is, if I'm not mistaken. You've already beat one dragon, you do that shit again. This one's pretty fucking hard because he has, um, he has fucking magic, uh, uh, magic fire breath. So if you're not, if you don't have good magic resistance stuff, it'll fuck you up. But yeah, it does, it does bleed. So if you, if you can, uh, if you can bleed it a lot, it, you, it might work. But I'm just telling you that, that magic breath shit. Oh my God. It's crazy. Very high damage. Especially for somebody like me who's very, like, strength buildy, you know? I cannot believe I'm still playing this. <laughs> I literally was like, oh, I'll probably like get tired of it after like beating it like one time. I'm not gonna wanna do like all of hard mode. No, I'm not gonna wanna do that. Dude, what? Like, I don't know. This this game's giving me like ins insane, like, I don't know, dopamine hits or something. That first dragon, like the Agil dragon I beat before. Was that the one that like, um, uh, surprises you when you're like, uh, when there's like a bunch of dudes? Um, like, they look like they're praying to something or whatever, and then he just like, spawns in and kills them all? In like the, there's like a lake over there or something? Yeah, it jumps you in the swamp, yeah. That shit scared the fuck out of me the first time I did it. Get that fucking ass over here, dude. I know you ain't got no head, but jeez. fine fighting as long as you have your horse yeah i uh i fought i fought so many overworld bosses with uh with with that damn horse wow he had a poke Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Thank you. He's getting paranoid. Unless it's a normal sized enemy, then fuck the horse. If you have a great sword though, oh my god, I love like holding down L2 or R2 and just like dragging the sword on the ground and fucking ramming them with it. It's fucking, it's so satisfying. But if you have anything smaller than a great sword, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's very, uh, not helpful. <laughs> you have a largest short. Yeah, if you're using that one from, uh, that wolf guy quest, then yeah. But yeah, you end up like running around in circles around small enemies by accident. You 
cocksuckers. This is my health. And you will let me have it. You have the big sword made out of smaller swords. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I like that one, too. Okay, enough with the spawning. Holy shit. I mean, 20 strength that early, I feel like, is really good. Don't get too stuck respecking shit, cause man, I uh, I I literally respect my stats so many fucking times, and I'm still not happy with them. <laughs> and I've gotten all the achievements. Never really did get satisfied 100% with like a build, but I enjoyed using all the different weapons that I did. I just feel like I've done nothing. No, no, you, it, 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 trust me. If you're getting shit, you're getting cool items, cool weapons and shit, nah, nah, you, you, you're doing good. It's certainly not as linear as like Dark Souls 3, but you know, it's still, it's, um, it's a lot to take in, but it's, uh, like, there's a lot of enjoyment in just, like, exploring all the different tombs and shit, and then all the different fucking weapons and, like, ashes you can find and stuff. You even went to the rot area. Yeah, yeah, fuck that area indeed. <laughs> This area in particular has had just an insane amount of fucking enemies spawned. So scared of using items, using like any items because I don't know how rare or like one time use stuff is. Like I've only applied like one Ash of War on a bow. Cause like who cares about bows? Yeah, no, I, I get that. That's how I am and like, that's how I am in any Souls game. I like, I'll, the first time I play it, you know, it's like I'll, I'll have something and I'm like, I don't know if I'm supposed to use this yet. And I don't know, I feel like just, as long as you're not using like a boss soul, which I forget what they're, they're not boss souls in this one, but you know, like they give you a lot of runes if you use them or whatever. And, um, great rune arcs, the rune arcs, if you don't have a great rune, the rune arcs don't do anything really. Um, you have to have a great rune, which you get at the top of like these weird towers and shit. Also, Daiquiri, I, I do see the flip. I do see the flip, so give me a second. I forgot how to do it. Oh, there we go. There you go. We did a flip. Whee! Whee! <laughs>
<laughs> You're welcome, Daiquiri. Fuck. <laughs> You're so funny, Daiquiri. Yeah, I'll, uh... Oops. Um... Yep. I'm I I might see you tomorrow. Good night. Yeah, you got to resave points for Bonk, Revan. These dudes, when they fucking hit you, it's like a so much health. Wow, he dodged that. Shit. So dumb that he can get out of that. Ugh. Fuck. Well, he just hit himself. Fuck! Oh my god. No, assholes, leave me alone. I'm trying to fight your boss. Oh, the grab. The face grab. Oh my god, it's down to the fucking wire. Oh! Clutch fucking special move. Holy shit. But I have a bunch of shit where either I don't know what to do with it or don't want to waste something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, the, the big things that you really don't want to waste are like the... I forget what they're called. I, I'm going to say that every time about a special item in, in any Souls game because I will always forget. But the basically the Titanite Slabs... Um, that you, because there's like different kinds of Titanite slabs, quote unquote. Um, there's one for normal weapons there. And then there's one for boss weapons. And then there's kind of ones for like the Ash guys that you can summon. And then there's other special ones that you could, that you need for the like bigger, crazier, better Ash summon things. So yeah, it, it's, you'll like kind of know like when, when you get those, but um, or when you start like really upgrading all the way to the top, you'll 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 know like when to stop. I think I think it's not maybe it's not super clear, but I, it's been so long since I played it for the first time. I don't remember what I was thinking whenever I had those um, items. But yeah, there it, it, there are definitely um, there was definitely a lot of that for me where I was like, I don't know if I want to do this. How the fuck do I use them? I have like 15 and have no clue how to use them. Uh, did, uh, have you rested at night at the bonfire um, in the first church that you see right from the like tutorial? Like, you know, when you get out from the tutorial and you get open into the, you get out into the open world. Um, 
there's like a church straight ahead and there's like a big scary guy on a horse that's a boss that church yeah the one with the first merchant who looks like santa claus yeah that church if you rest there at night you can you can rest until night as well at the bonfire and if you if you rest until night the the blue witch lady spawns and she will give you the item that you need to summon the ashes um i th i think that's the item <laughs> i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure yeah, the blue, the blue fucking what? Yeah, there's a blue witch lady, and she's my wife. I love her because she's blue, and I love blue. And wouldn't you know it? She also has a quest line. On oh God, blue is such a sexy color. I mean, that's what I'm saying. God. Well, I didn't spawn in with full health, so party foul. Not fair. I, I literally can't stop now. I, I have to beat the game now. Also, here's me bend my neck really weird. There's Yaksha's character art. I realized I was blocking it earlier. She looks really cool. Skill issue, I know. I know, Snake. I need to get good. I, I'm honestly surprised at how good I am doing on this fucking hard mode. This shit is fucking wild, and I'm able to hold my own with this character that I haven't played with in fucking forever. Almost old, man. I, I am getting a game over, so I guess I'm not technically holding my own. You're gonna be streaming a lot this week. To try and make some serious progress. I uh, that's that's what I did. Whenever I I like, I'm surprised that I fucking streamed that entire game. Unfortunately, I lost a lot of the footage, but most of my playthrough is up on YouTube. You love the prawn dude, like the guy with all the shrimps. It's like by the like the broken down house and shit. Yeah, I, he's great. It's really funny because I didn't find that guy until my third playthrough. So I missed out on Prawn Dude. First and second playthrough. I don't know how I missed him. I thought I was pretty good about looking everywhere on the map. And even on my third playthrough, I found so much shit that I had not had. I was like, what the fuck? Because the fucking, um, the achievements are pretty lenient, so you can get 100% without really getting a lot of the stuff in the game. This lady was like, someone stole my necklace and I just bought it off of it. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's what I did on my third playthrough. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. I'm sure I met that woman and uh, forgot about her, you know, because I never met the prawn guy. Oh my god, why do you have so much health? You also found some asshole named Knight Loretta, and damn, she's a pain. I'm trying to remember who that is. Still haven't beat her. Yeah. I, I can't remember who that is. If I if it's who I'm thinking of, yeah, you're you're gonna see a lot of that, uh, that lady. Does she use magic on her horse? 
That's who I'm thinking of. Some magic lady on her horse. Some bitch with magic on a horse, but no, I can't have my horse. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, she's a pain. She's a pain. It is what- it is who I was thinking of. Also, this battle having fucking ads, are you kidding me? As if it's not hard enough. That was my own bad. I Pod the knee. I forgot they could grab you. I thought I was. I, thought, I was like, man, I'm doing so well. I, I can actually do this. Nope. There's also a castle in the rot area with a bridge that's hard AF to cross, and then I can't even open the gate like <laughs> KMS. <laughs> if it's the castle I'm thinking of, I don't think you want to go there right now. <laughs> I don't remember the gate being closed though, so it might not be the one I was thinking about. Trying to go through Potman's quest line. Yeah, he's cool. To get all the items in that quest line, it's kind of a pain though. I definitely fucked it up on my first playthrough, just just so you know. I don't remember what all it entails, but I remember having to follow a guide whenever I actually wanted to get the items. Yeah, Alexander. He's fucking... he's badass. Him, Wolf Guy, and, uh, and Ranny, that blue witch lady. Uh, they are all, um, they are all my favorites. I love them. And the Turtle Pope. Can't forget about the Turtle Pope. I don't know if you've met the Turtle Pope yet, but man, he is awesome. Turtle Pope is great. Roger. Yeah, yeah I, I, I kind of liked him at first. Yes, the Church of Vows. Yeah, Turtle, Turtle Pope. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of got. I wasn't like a huge fan of him by the end of his uh, Roger. That is, by the end of his uh, quest line. Not that I was, like, paying full attention to whatever- everything that was happening with him, but... I was just like, ew. summon him versus Morgoth, he gives you a plus eight thrusting sword with built-in spells. No intelligence needed. Oh. I'm not sure if I did that or not. I think I had real people help me fight Morgoth. I can't remember. Oh my 
god guy. I feel like I've been everywhere and just turned away from like half of it. Yeah, that's kind of how it be. That's kind of how it be for a large portion of the game, I feel like. It's, um... It can be... I don't know. I think it's kind of cool that it makes you like... You know, you like test your limits in one area and realize that it's kind of difficult. So you're like, eh, I'm kind of just not gonna... I'm not feeling that right now, so you go somewhere else. And then you eventually beat a boss somewhere else, and you're like, oh, okay, cool. And then you get maybe a cool weapon out of it, or maybe a spell, or something. And, um... Yeah, I don't know. It, it has its pros and cons, for sure. I will say it is a daunting thing to want to like, you know, jump back into the game after I, you know, haven't played it after, you know, in a while or whatever. And then I'm like, oh yeah, this is, um, I love this game. I love it. And then you start going for a while and you're like, oh my God, it's just so fucking much. And, uh, then I play something like Dark Souls 3 and I'm like, oh man, I love this. And then I just like... You know, don't have any, like, real issues anywhere in Dark Souls 3. Not like I'm saying I'm, like, a pro, but... And I die a lot in Dark Souls 3 still, but... I can play the game and, like, I don't- I don't feel like I'm... I don't get stressed out because of, like, the amount of stuff. I feel like Elden Ring stresses me out because of just the sheer amount of things everywhere. Most times I beat something, I get something useless that I don't even have close to stats to use. Yeah, that that's a thing too. Maybe I just like that dopamine hit of getting items. Even if I can't use them. Oh man, oh man, oh man, stop. What? I know I missed half the shit in Stormvale Castle because I went Metal Gear Solid around the rooftops through that bitch. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't blame you. Stormvale is pretty scary. But there's a lot of fucking shit. There's a lot of shit to explore in that castle.
just realized, man, I'm not very close to that fucking elevator. God. Wow, it made me throw that because it was like a cutscene thing, I guess, closing the door. Whoever came up with those stone sword keys is brilliant but an asshole because like if I don't have one on hand, I'm never coming back to get what I miss. This shit feels like he should be more common. Yeah. Um I think you will find later in the game you're going to have like an abundance of them. Um or at least Yeah, you'll you'll come across a lot more later, I feel. As long as you're Exploring a lot more. Um, because I think there, I don't know if there were some in Stormvale, but I'm sure that there were. You're never coming back for what you missed, yeah. Thank god I made it to the fucking elevator. that cocksuckers fuck anything that flies because well it flies yeah yep I agree it's always really satisfying when you slam a big ass sword down on their head though I use jumping attacks a lot in that game jumping R2s jumping R2s Wait, was this the elevator? No, no, no. This this is the boss elevator. There's just two fucking mini enemies. Oh my god. never find yourself jumping in combat yeah I feel I don't I don't know when that happened but yeah towards like I, I just realized having like when you have like a great sword specifically the jumping and, and slamming the sword down um, you're more likely to stun bosses and shit and enemies as well and so I think that that is part of why I did it so often Come on, man. Ugh. Too many goddamn enemies. Ah. 
Oh god. The noodle arm. How did that not hit him? Fuck. <laughs> All your problems will go away when you respec. Well, I hope that it does. <laughs> I just know how it was for me. I could never settle. Man, it's gotta make me fight these assholes again, right before I fight him. Yeah, go for strength, faith, build, and then holy bonk. Yep. That's a good way to go. God damn it, jumped right into his little loving arms. got to throw him for once. Ugh. I do remember this being pretty fucking hard. You really have to stay on your toes. What a mess of a fight. Whew. As fun and quick as Dex is, it's just I feel like the game is more centered towards a magic of some sort, and I don't like pumping intelligence. Yeah. Uh-oh. What happened to me? That was weird. Why did I stop moving? Anyways. Okay. Oh.
Yeah, Rivers of Blood. That's the name of the katana I was talking about earlier. Um, that one is in Kaelid, the, the right side of the map from the start. That in the red area. It's it's in one of those like dungeony things, I think. Well, that's one way to get rid of those damn flying drones. Son of a bitch, yeah. Exactly. I remember that the the boss uh, for the sword being a bitch too, so good get ready for that. And I'm gonna fucking die. You don't like the, the, the dogs with T-Rex arms? <laughs> get away, get away. Demons. Woo! No, please. Mercy, please, please, please. No, you cocksucker. Uh. Um, I will tell you, it was not a dungeon with cat bosses. Those weird cat stone statue things. It was. It wasn't one of those. I I can't remember exactly what it was. I think it was. It wasn't like a. Yeah, they suck. Or, or I I feel like later in the game. Oh my god! I have to start all over. Later in the game, when you see them, they become a lot easier, but. Yeah, those cat bosses are a pain in the ass. What is going on over there? Is it that black void looking motherfucker? Because I hear him. Black void. No, 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 no. Um, no, it's not that guy. Yeah, that black void dude is kind of crazy because he can, um, he can do some, some attacks that can basically one shot you if you're not careful. Oh, thank you for the pat snake. I need, I need, a uh, I need a, a pet for my, like a, like a head pats thing. How do I, how do I get one of those? people can redeem like a head pats
Wow. Yeah. Snake, that would be cool. Yeah. Send me the send me the vid. Is it for like VTube Studio or is it for just kind of anything? I need to um, upgrade, up, update my my 2D model with the right eye color and and getting rid of the um, like the stitching on the body and stuff. But I I need to talk to my artist because that uh that shit I don't I can't do it on my own. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So. I'm just a PNG this, so I assume he wouldn't troll me like that. Oh, don't know how it was. Okay, yeah. I'll, I mean, uh, hey, I'll 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 watch the vid and see what it's like. Um, look at the map. Been there. At least found the sign of grace near there. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Good luck in that fucking little dungeon, Revan. But. Give it proper cleavage. Hey, um, I'm working on that. Hey, I, I'm telling you, hot tub streams. We got We got to make it a reality. If I'm gonna get the big money, we got to start doing the hot tub streams. I'm sorry. That's gotta be. That's that's gotta be the way it is. We know how it works on Twitch. That's how we're. You, motherfucker! Oh my god. Oh God, let's go. I'm, I'm saying, that's what I'm saying. Another day, another dollar. Exactly. Look, I want to play my games. I want to have my fun, but sometimes you just got to let the tits out and that's, that's okay. That's okay. You gotta, you gotta play the system. If, if, if other people can do it, you can do it too. You, you just gotta have, you just gotta, just gotta be brave enough, you know? Maybe, maybe that's what it requires. I don't fucking know. This stage is a goddamn endurance test on hard mode. Holy shit. Where's the OF link in bio? I know. God, I, hey, I, I've thought about some, some, some ventures with some things. But I just, I don't have like, the, the, really what the problem is, is that I don't have infinite money, right? And so much of what I do is not my own art. Like I, I, I came up, I come up with ideas, right? And then people help me with those ideas. And I'm trying to be an artist, but I suck at it. So I need all the help I can get. And unfortunately, help is money. And a lot of times it's not fucking cheap either. Like, man, I bought this when I when I got this 3D model, I was like, that's it. I'm done for a while because it's just it's just so much like getting commissions done. And sometimes I'm like getting like art commissions is cool. But for like just just having like art commissions is, is like neat and all, but I don't really know what I'm using them for, like practically, right? Like I don't I don't know what it what it's doing, you know? Give them a cut of, of what you make. Yeah. Hey, if if I could if I could get my artist to agree to that, I would do it. I would absolutely do that. But they no, they want all the money up front. They don't see it as an investment. They see it as a you pay me now because you may not be famous later. <laughs> yeah, spend money to make money. It's real. It's fucking real out here. That's how you have to do it. I spent money. I got a fucking tax form from Twitch this fucking month, and that was jarring to see. Um, I I only made like maybe a hundred fifty dollars last year on Twitch total, but I still got a goddamn tax form. 
So it's real. It's happening. L, yeah. But also W, right. Yeah, it's a blessing and a curse getting seeing a tax form for something that I've put time and effort into for, God, five, six years now? I don't even know. And a, a lot of, you know, the early years was me, the majority of the time was me trying to figure out what the fuck I was doing. And now I have a basic idea. I'm still floundering around, just, you know, playing whatever game comes to mind that day, you know? I have ideas of, like, animations and stuff I would like to see Fossil do, but, you know. Literally just a job with ass pay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, until I, until I turn into a, a until I turn into the world's next hyper fixation, I'm, I'm probably not going to get uh, a lot of cash on the streaming platforms. And, that, and that's fine. That's fine. I'm not here, uh, you know, I'm not here to fucking, I, I'm not guaranteed that spot, you know, and I know that. Would it be cool to stream games and not have to do a 9 to 5? Well, I don't do a 9 to 5, actually. My schedule's insane. If uh, if y'all knew what my schedule was, you'd be like, how the fuck are you alive? And I'd be like, yeah, that's a good question. Um, but, you know, I work a 40-hour-plus-a-week job, and uh, I come home and I stream, and then I'm like, oh my god. You know, it's, it's basically like another job if I actually do it consistently. And, uh, oof, man, it takes a lot out of me. You gotta stream online games with, like, rounds and gamble on whether you're gonna win or not. Channel points, fucking course. Yeah, 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 of course. That's what I would tell Twitch. I would tell Twitch it's just channel points, but, on, you know, on the back side, we're really gambling. That's a joke, Twitch. That is a joke. I would never actually do that. That is not in the cards for me, Twitch. Jeff Bezos, don't, don't, you know, it's a joke. I know you can take a joke, Jeff. <laughs> wink, wink, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, yeah. <laughs> cough, cough, yeah. No, I, 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 I'm not, uh, I mean, I, the most I gambled was, was one-sided gambling where it's like, you know, gotcha games and shit. It's like you're gambling for a temporary item for a game that's going to shut down in five years, you know, that shit is so fucking toxic, like, don't be like me. Like, just don't. Like, it's not worth it. If you if you can't trust yourself to be f free to play, if you can't trust yourself to be a free to play player in a gotcha game, then don't fucking play the game. Because you're gonna be like me and you're gonna spend too much fucking money on goddamn Nikkei, okay? Or or anything else. I've I spent money on got fucking Azure Lane. I mean, I, I have the receipts. I'm sure I could I could show y'all just how much fucking money I spent on this shit. Money, in some cases, that I just really didn't have to spend. And I, think I learned my lesson. I did. So I stopped. But, man. Talk about the worst kind of gambling, right? Like, oh yeah, I got my sweet big titty anime, babe. Nice. And, you're, and then you go to bed and you're like crying yourself to sleep. You're like, oh. Well, at least I have my sweet big titty anime, babe, I guess. And zero dollars in my bank account. That's all right. Speaking another language. Oh, well, Revan, just don't ever play. Uh, don't ever play 
mobile games that tell you you can draw for characters like Genshin Impact. That's another one. I, I, I never got into Genshin Impact, though, thank God. I just never... I don't even see the appeal of Genshin, to be honest. But you know? Uh... Hoyoverse, you know, y'all want to come over here? You want to pay me some money to shill your game? I'll, I'll do that, maybe. maybe. I'm not I'm not above a $5,000 paycheck from a company that's way bigger than I could ever feasibly fathom. Like, you know. But I do want this channel to be mostly things that are important to me. And things like like, you know, gotcha games and shit. I would not consider that like important, inspirational um, gaming material that I absorb, right? Um, this is like peak for me though. This game is specifically peak. And I love the fucking art style, the music, everything. Yeah, going to bed hungry, we got the waifu, yeah. That's, that's how it is. That's how it is. With those fucking gotcha games. The I think the eye-opening moment for me was when I finally did look at the receipts. And I like... I like literally was like, okay, I'm gonna go down and see how much I've actually spent on this game. And it was like... I'm not even gonna say how much money it was, but it was way more than any person should do. I like, I wasn't like whale status, like spending, you know, 50K or whatever. Like I was not doing that. I don't have that kind of money, but I was spending more than a person with my kind of money should have been spending, you know? Oh my God, please die. Ugh. D am I going to get the checkpoint? Am I going to get this fucking checkpoint now? Please. Thank God. I got some rot dragon breast shit that I have no idea how to cast. I I'm pretty sure that's one of those sacred seals again that you have to have. I, I think. The sacred seals can cast a lot of different shit. Part of me just wants to let them kill me. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Because I want to restart this area. Oh. I mean, I don't know. I don't remember where I got them. I, there was literally things that... Every, every weapon I got, I pretty much stumbled across in some way, shape, or form. And if I found a, a, a person that was selling shit, I tried to buy every single item they had at the time because I figured I'd never see them again. So I would go like grind runes just to go fucking be able to afford whatever the person was selling. You even spared patches. But that's good, because I think he... I think he is, is involved with something later. Or maybe it was for Margot. Oh my god, please. Please. That's how we gotta do that. It's gonna be really fucking hard to do this. What? There we go. Okay. Shit. Oh my... See, this is a problem, because... Yeah. 
Oh, it, okay, it has to be his dudes. Like, they have to... His own guys have to hit it. That'll work. How did that not work? This is a really bad character for this. I never even tried that one. That'll, that'll work. Okay, no, no, this is fine. This is fine. Hell yeah, okay. Oh my god, it's got... Oh my god. Well, assholes. Come on. How'd she get out of that? <gasps> Fuck! Okay, well, I, I know how to do it now. That, 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 that really threw me. I just saw a familiar face and showed mercy. That's how... <laughs> Same. I feel that. Oh, we're almost fucking there. We're almost fucking there. Oh my god. And then I want to do like one stage. I want to do like one stage with a big guy. Because he's cool. How the hell is a pro so strong he can switch realms and just transfer games? Uh, it's called the Miyazaki glitch. Miyazaki just fucking loves patches for some reason. Let's fucking go. Come on, bitches, let's go. She went from being the character I didn't think would be good for this, to the character I only want to use for this. Oh my god. Ooh. I did not. Fuck. Woo! Come on, stack, stack, guys. Come on. Any more bodies? Come on. was fucking epic. What a great end. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. Miyazaki didn't love Solar enough to bring him in. It's so sad. Ugh. Gamer, yes. Thank you, Snake. I don't know if it'll let me skip. Almost 700. Right, I'm at 700, almost bonk again. Yep. Gotta get there. But I gotta stream so that you can get there, right? <laughs> that's the, that's the idea. I need to get back to Dark Souls before my brain gets too foggy and I forget what I was doing. Yeah. I'm not a very consistent streamer. I, I don't have the luxury of, uh, of, uh, being consistent because my, uh, my, my head hurt, my brain dumb, my mental health kaput. I won't let you forget Dark Souls. I appreciate that. I, I need someone to hold me accountable. Okay, now I can skip. There we go. <laughs> Raiden, that's his name. His name is Raiden, of course. Did, did I get to choose a... Arcade, yeah, let's do that. Let's do arcade sound, soundtrack. I also won't forget to get Rob... Katana tomorrow. Yeah, you need to get that katana. We're just gonna do normal. We're just gonna do time attack on stage one. And we're gonna be right in because I wanna play as him for two seconds. And we get to listen to the OG soundtrack from the arcade. Look at this fucking unit. Like, they had fucking fun putting this guy in the game. Like, look at this shit. Glenstone Key was, uh... Was on the west side of the academy, outside the academy in the lake um there's like a dragon on the left side and he behind the dragon there is an item oh what was that i was charging something oh my god how do i Oh my god, you can grab two guys. That's fucking awesome. He's, man, he is clunky as fuck. Oh, 
Oh, when I figured out when shit's about to get real, I check for Stakes of America. Yeah, those, uh, when you see one, you're like, oh boy, here's a boss. Or something. God damn, I'm bigger than he is. Now it's a fair fucking fight. It's so hard to, like, get the turn when it's supposed to. Yeah, they gonna kill me. She's some hassle with a weird mask by making him fall off the ledge and taking his talisman. Yeah, I've done that. I've done that same move. There's a there's a there's a couple NPCs that uh, I've I've done that too. I just want to remember how all these characters play because they're fun. They're all fun. <laughs> Not the elbow drop. Yo, that's cool. Man, I don't remember. I, I just hardly ever be this guy. Fucking hell. I could just I could just keep going. I could just keep fucking going. Shit. Yeah, that's a cool one too. Yeah, he doesn't pick him up either. Anyways. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. If you're silent, it's because you fell asleep. No, it's okay. I'm I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done for the night. Fucking done. A lot of game.
That was cool. That was cool though. I'm I'm glad I I'm glad I got to play it. I've been wanting to play it on stream for a while. Mm -hmm. That'll probably work. Be streaming Monday through Friday, 12 to 5 or 6. Okay. Yeah, I'll, uh, this next week. Okay. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll see if I can make some, Revan. I'm, I'm interested to see how you play. Um, I did, I, I followed you so I could get some notification. I've just been so goddamn busy at work. Um, but yeah, I'll see if I can hit you up a couple of streams. See what's good. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peace out. So GG y'all. Thanks for coming out. Goodbye. Good night.